Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also download the Simulink model and source code of MATLAB programs and much more uh, uh, from that website. So, in this particular video, we will talk about how to generate phase shift game in MATLAB. Phase shifting is one of the famous techniques in digital communication and as we have previously discussed uh, about the frequency shifting in which for different uh, symbols we were using different kind of frequencies. In phase shifting for transmitting uh, specifically we will talk about binary phase shifting. So in binary phase shifting we changes the phase by 180 degree on changes of the bit like uh, if your symbol bit is going from 1 to 0 in a case of unipolar bit stream then phase shift will be from one, uh, 180 degree from the previous signal frequency will be same only the phase will be reversed of that particular carrier frequency similarly if uh, for a uh, bipolar bit stream if your bit stream goes from 1 to minus 1 then your phase of the corresponding carrier wave will be shifted from uh, plus uh, 180 degree to the minus 180 degree so let's see how to do or how to simulate this in MATLAB. Open MATLAB. Type Simulink. Create new model. First of all, we need to have uh, uh, bit stream so we'll check out this pulse generator which will be keep on generating 1 and 0 1 and 0 so let's amplitude 1 it's uh, period is 2 second and the pulse width is 50% of duty cycle and then apply and let's say now we need a carrier wave so carrier wave will be using sinusoid wave so I hope this is visible to you. Let's make it a little big. Okay. Yeah. I will be using sine wave and let's amplitude is one, frequency is two pi into two hertz and sample dial let's say zero point zero one and then apply and then okay. And let's say model configuration of the Simulink model from variable step to fixed step and let's change it to 0.01. Now we need a switch so that we can change interchangeably. So if it is greater, uh, it is a positive number, the pulse is positive, then this particular wave will be transferred to them. If it is negative, the second pulse will be transferred. And we need to just reverse the input sine wave. So we need to just multiply it by minus 1. So also we will also have needed a constant and a product. So let's make it minus 1. and this will be fed by the same carrier wave and now this will go there let's change it let's put make a threshold of 0 0.5 so the input is 0 0.5 then this wave will go there and if the input is greater than 0 0.5 this particular uh, wave will go there so let's have a sync in order to scope this wave and now we need to display both the sinusoid carrier and as well as the pulse strain so we need a mux there as well let's have a mux so it seems like we are done with it now let's do connections. So it's very easy for simulating this binary phase shift game. So 
uh, let's simulate it and hope everything goes fine so yeah so this is uh, a perfect phase shift king wave as soon as uh, the wave uh, amplitude of the bit stream is going from 1 to 0 phase has been revolved similarly when it is uh, there is a transition from 0 to 1 again the phase has been reversed by plus 180 degree so plus 180 degree phase shift your yeah, normal zero phase shift it is plus 1 minus 180 degree phase shift or there is a phase difference then it is 0 plus 180 degree 1 and minus 180 degree 0 so uh, by this method you can generate this uh, binary phase shift king in the case the input is of unipolar let's see what will happen if uh, suppose uh, we have a bipolar sequence okay so <coughs> this is a pulse generator so it is generating zero uh, uh, for that thing let's see if we can no. but yeah, in this uh, pulse generator we can't generate minus one so we need to uh, do differently so I hope we'll talk about uh, the same thing can be done uh, with that minus one in that case uh, other things will not be required and only this product will go directly to the pulse generator so I hope you can understand how to uh, generate this phase shift king in MATLAB and that's it for this video thank you